Ladies and gentlemen, nearly half of Americans feel that way too much money is being spent on Ukraine. So nearly half of the voters in the survey said the United States is spending way too much on aid for Ukraine, which comes just ahead of Ukrainian presidents of Volodymyr Zelensky to visit Washington, which he's already done. So the Financial Times, Michigan, Ross Poll found that 48% of voters says that the U.S. is spending too much on financial aid and military aid to Ukraine. 27% said that the U.S. was spending the right amount and 11% said the U.S. was not spending enough. You know, this is taking a toll. A lot of people don't like all of this money constantly going out to pay for wars. And you got people right here in America struggling. The inflation is difficult for a lot of people. You know, if you are low income, the inflation is kicking your butt. And you got all these homeless people, you got the immigration issue where they would rather pour money into the immigrants than take care of the homeless people here in America. So it's a lot of things going on all at once. But as you can see, people don't like it. And see, Zelensky showed up in the U.S. at the White House, you know, asking for more money. But if we say the word reparations, there is no money. Okay. So Republicans were more likely to say the U.S. is spending too much, with 65% saying so, about half of independent voters, and 32% of Democrats said the U.S. was spending too much. The poll also surveyed respondents on whether the U.S. was spending the right amount on aid to Israel in its war against Hamas, which launched a deadly surprise attack on Israel in early October. It found that 40% believed the U.S. was spending too much on aid to Israel, and 30% 30 said the funding levels were the right amount. All right, lawmakers are divided on approving an aid package, which includes funding for Ukraine and Israel. The GOP-led House passed the Israel-only aid package last month, but Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer declined to bring it to the floor. Senate Republicans then blocked the measure to provide aid to Ukraine and Israel last week, saying they were unsatisfied with the broader security provision laid out in the bill. $111 billion, wow, requested by Joe Biden also included aid for the Indo-Pacific region and funding for humanitarian aid in Gaza, $111 million. That was an emergency surplus package. Look at how much money they can get their hands on in like a snap. Unbelievable. The White House announced Sunday that Biden invited Zelensky for a meeting in Washington to underscore the United States' unshakable commitment to support the people of Ukraine as they defend themselves against Russia's brutal invasion. Zelensky is also slated to meet with House, uh, House Speaker Mike Johnson, as many of the members of uh, the House GOP have voiced their opposition to Ukraine funding. The Biden administration warned earlier this month that the U.S. will run out of money for Ukraine amid its war with Russia without congressional action on the matter. So they are saying it looks like 
there probably won't be any more money going to Ukraine before the end of the month, but the beginning of next year, more than likely they will get something. Look, y'all, I think a lot of people are tired of the U.S. funding wars and they want the Biden administration to focus on the people. There are a lot of people in the U.S. that are in need and, you know, and they need help, they need assistance, and they could use that funding to even get themselves out of a rut. But they are more content with dealing with foreign issues than domestic issues. That's what it looks like to me. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.